What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. I just got off of school and today it's, uh, let's actually check the actual temperature. It's really, really warm for February. And uh, the past couple days have been really warm too. Uh, currently it is 63 degrees. They say it's going to get up to 64. And right now is the warmest it's going to be the entire day. So the fish have been warming up a little, I guess, in the, in the windy, the windy lake. But we're at a local pond on Long Island, New York. We got the yak with us, and I got three rods and some bait. So let's go after them. I'm probably gonna be doing some yo-yo techniques with uh, with lipless crankbaits. That's probably gonna get the job done. If that doesn't work, probably switch up to uh, inline spinner and try for some pickerel. But uh, we'll see what happens. Let's just get on the water. We made it onto the lake. It's only one problem. I left my hat at home. And let's talk about some cold water presentations that can basically morph themselves into spring. So like, let's say for New York, it's February, March, April. I'm gonna, these are the presentations for early spring, like really, really early spring that I'm throwing right now. All right, the best thing that I found uh, when it comes to spring and the warmer weather and the pre-spawn is a lipless crankbait. May be different in certain areas, but definitely give it a try. This is a uh, a half ounce Strike King Red Eye Shad. Now, normally I'd be throwing a quarter ounce, but the half ounce has more of a more of a presence in the water. It's got a bigger sound to it, and it also sinks a whole lot slower because there's more uh, surface area to it. So when I go towards the yo-yo technique, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, it falls a little bit slower and makes it makes it look like it's an actual dying fish as opposed to the quarter ounce Let's start off with the lipless crankbait techniques and uh, let's start with the regular Regular retrieve all right, so got to fix this hair because this wind is insane. All right, so basically we're just gonna cast it on out and Slowly retrieve it. We want it to be right above the grass line or or right above the bottom of the water column that way, if any fish are still on the bottom, where they most likely are during the cold weather, uh, they'll they'll bite our lure. All right, so basically it's just a slow retrieve. This is a 9.3 to one gear ratio bait casting reel, so it's pulling in a lot. So this might even be a little bit too fast right now, but depending on the gear ratio of your reel, is the speed you want to actually turn the handle. So. If you got like a 5.3 or 6.3 or something like that, you'd basically just do a calm little retrieve. Next technique with the lipless crankbait is the yo-yo technique. And all this is is cast it out. You're gonna let it fall and then bring it up. Bring in the slack, twist it up. Bring in the slack, let it fall to the bottom, bring it back up. Bring in the slack, let it fall, and that's basically the technique that I've caught most of my big fish on in the cold weather on lipless cranks. Because uh, in the water, you got the lipless crankbait just falling like that, which looks like a dying bait fish. And uh, cold water fish don't really want to move too much. They want a big meal. It's a big and easy meal, so that's what they're gonna go after. All right, so another one of the best presentations to throw in the cold weather is a jerk bait. This one's actually a floating jerk bait. All right, so there's there's a couple techniques to throwing a jerk bait. It can all vary based on body of water, but uh, this one's a floating. And what I'm doing with this is basically casting it out and then giving it like one, two, three, four seconds, and then twitch, twitch, and I'm just hoping for a bite. So what that does is it takes the jerk bait and when you twitch it, it goes twitch, twitch. It'll go in different directions, real erratic, and uh, it'll actually, get the fish wanting to bite a whole lot more than something that's going in a straight line. And while it does that, the bait is going side to side and stopping and then slowly floating up and then bringing back down and jerk, jerk, jerk. So that's gonna get the fish more aggressive bite. Um, hungry fish are gonna go after it as opposed to falling straight down. As a bait fish, this is just gonna be acting like a sick fish uh, just trying to get around. So 
that's another great presentation for cold water. Another good cold water bait is a jig. I don't no normally use jigs too, too much, but uh, there's different types of jigs. There's swim jigs, finesse jigs, football jigs. The best ones to use during the cold and early spring is uh, finesse jigs or small football jigs. I, if anything, I would go more towards the finesse jig. That way it's, uh, it's more of a subtle, small presentation and gets the fish a little bit more interested in something that they can just nap right off the bottom. Now here where I fish, I, I'm fishing a lot of grass, vegetation, not rocks, so we don't have a lot of crawfish here. So that's why I don't normally use jigs, but uh, jigs are also a great one. Um, when you use jigs, you don't have to use them bare. You can actually put something on there that's called a trailer. I'm sure most of you know that, but I got a little uh, green pumpkin, blue and black flake uh, crawfish trailer on there. Do a little bit more of a intimidation for the bass. Like, hey, I'm bigger than you. I'm, I'm more bad. And that'll get the bass a little bit more ferocious on the bite. Basically what I'm doing right now is trying to figure out where the bass are. I've really only taken a few casts with all these different lures, so uh, I'm not really putting a pattern together yet. I uh, really got to work a little bit harder, but I've thrown lipless crankbait, I've had a hit, uh, jerkbait, um, I got the jig on here now. So yeah, we're just trying to figure out some fish, but uh, that's number three on the list. Uh, not technically on number three, but that's three of our list. There we go. There we go. Big fish. It's pulling the boat. Oh my gosh. This could be the biggest fish of my life. Guys, this is my this is probably my new PB. Oh my gosh. I'm having heart oh my gosh, my heart is racing. My heart is racing. Oh my gosh. Alright, these are brand new jeans. Don't want them all slimy. This is my, this might be the biggest pickerel I've ever caught in New York. Nope. Definitely the thickest pickerel I've ever caught. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's a thick fish. Oh my gosh. Give him a smooch. Mwah. And release. Wow. That's, that's, that's awesome. Woo! I think I might have chosen the right spot. The thing with fishing is trying to figure out where the fish are, especially in the cold weather. And since we've had a couple warm days, I moved out from the deep and I'm basically, so I'm basically a cast from the shoreline, maybe 70 feet. I don't, I don't know. I'm not good at this. I'm not a hunter yet, but it's a little bit warmer water. It feels like I put my hand in it over here. It might be a degree or two warmer, but this might be where the fish are. This might be where the little fish are, and uh, they might be biting on the little fish warming up. But the uh, bait that I'm using right now is none of the ones that I talked about. And I didn't want to talk about this one until maybe I caught a fish on it, but a lot of people don't normally use this when it comes to early spring. But it's a spinner bait. This is a quarter ounce it's a quarter ounce with two willow blades, two silver willow blades, and a chartreuse and white uh, body with skirt. Colors the same. Um, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really think it was gonna work. I know it works normally for me, but I just figured maybe it was too cold still. Anyway, what this represents is a, a school of bait fish. The two willow blades are shining in the sun. That's why I picked the two shiny willow blades and the bright colors. So it's basically a school of bait fish, a ball of bait fish, and the fish uh, find it with the, with the shimmer of the blades and they attack it. Yeah, the more you know. There's different ways to retrieve a spinner bait. My favorite is just to slow retrieve, crawl it across the bottom or the surface, and hopefully catch a fish. I mean, that, that's produced so many fish for me. I've never really purposely switched it up, but since it's still a little bit colder, I might go towards like a, a pulsing one, sort of like jerk, jerk, jerk every now and then. That way it's something different in the water and not always just a, a bait ball going through. 
So like I'd be retrieving and then maybe do a little jerk like that or let it fall down and then jerk it back up. And then wait and do it again. You know, just something different every single cast and not always at the same time. Like not always wait three seconds and jerk it. Maybe do two jerks. That way it's not the same. There we go. That's another good fish. Holy crap. Wow, okay. This one, I think this might be a bass. He barely hit it. Oh yeah, that's a good bass. There we go. There you go, guys. Spinnerbait bass in February. All right, guys, there we go. Nice, chunky little bass on a spinnerbait in February. Cool. All right, smooch and release back into the water. Sweet. Oh, there we go. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh man, oh gosh, dude they're in the shallows, oh my gosh dude, come on, come on, <laughs> ah. there we go, alright so we got another bass, a bigger bass on a lip, uh, on a spinner bait, check it out. We're fishing the shallows right now. The fish aren't in the deep areas. For some reason, they moved on up. But there we go. Mm. Mwah. Good old smooch. Mm, real slimy smooch and release. All right, guys. Mwah. Beautiful. That's awesome. Woo! All right, so as the geese are screaming behind me and the seagulls are screaming over there, I just want to conclude this video by saying that there are more great lures and baits to use during the winter. These aren't just all the ones that I suggest. You know, I'm just trying to keep a video nice and concise for you guys. That way you get all your information real quick and you can go out onto the water. If you want a part two, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I'll wear a hat so my hair's not as crazy. Um, but uh, what do you guys think of like catching fish in February on a spinnerbait? That was insane. That was cool. Um, I know it works, but I really didn't think it would work this early. But uh, give the video a thumbs up for that. All right? Did you guys? Peace. Uh, Check it out. They're all over there. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay real. Smooch and release. And they're coming my way. Have some fun on the water. All right, guys. Peace.